the Philippines effectively repelled cyber attacks originating from Chinese-based hackers targeting crucial government websites and email systems, including those linked to President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. and the Department of Information and Communications Technology, DICT. Renato Paraiso, spokesperson for DICT, confirmed the attempted breaches, emphasizing the involvement of hackers traced back to China, specifically using internet protocol addresses associated with Chinese state-owned Unicom. Despite the concentrated efforts, the hackers' endeavors were ultimately thwarted, demonstrating the Philippines' resilience against cyber threats. Significantly, the attempted cyber intrusions coincide with heightened tensions between the Philippines and China, particularly concerning territorial disputes in the South China Sea. This occurrence underscores the importance of reinforcing cybersecurity measures amidst evolving geopolitical dynamics and digital vulnerabilities. As part of its response, the Philippines is actively pursuing an extensive five-year cybersecurity strategy aimed at strengthening its defenses and addressing emerging cyber threats adeptly. In light of apprehensions over cyber warfare and digital espionage, the Philippines has sought cooperation from the Chinese government to mitigate forthcoming attacks and uphold cyber stability in the region. While Unicom and China's embassy in Manila have refrained from commentary on the matter, the occurrence highlights the necessity for international collaboration and vigilance in safeguarding against cyber threats that transcend borders. Additionally, the Philippines is taking proactive measures, including the establishment of a dedicated cyber command within its military to augment its cybersecurity stance and shield critical infrastructure from malicious cyber activities. The Philippine military is proactively enhancing its cyber defenses in response to a surge in daily cyber assaults, according to General Romeo Brauner, the head of the armed forces. Given the escalating cyber threats, the military is instituting a dedicated cyber command and intends to amend recruitment criteria to attract proficient online experts. Brauner stressed the necessity to recruit cyber warriors who possess specialized proficiency in cybersecurity, indicating a departure from conventional recruitment practices centered on physical prowess. When it comes to the uh, cyber domain, obsolescence is very fast. No? Within six months, your, your new, your brand new equipment becomes obsolete with the new technology. And all, always, you know, the hackers are always looking for uh, loopholes that uh, they could use to get into your networks. So really, we have to be very alert and vigilant. This new breed of warriors do not necessarily have to be muscled, strong. What we need are individuals who are intelligent, very skillful in, uh, in the cyber domain. With governmental agencies, including the lower house of Congress, reporting heightened incidents of cyber assaults, the Philippines acknowledges the urgency of bolstering its cyber capabilities. While General Brauner acknowledged the frequency of these assaults, he reassured that none had succeeded thus far. Although the origin of the assaults was not explicitly disclosed, tensions with China have escalated concerns particularly regarding territorial disputes in the South China Sea, where assertive actions by Chinese vessels have been a point of contention. In response to the evolving threat landscape, the Philippine military is incorporating cyber defense training into joint exercises with U.S. forces, underscoring the growing significance of cyber resilience in national defense strategies. Additionally, measures are being implemented to safeguard critical infrastructure, including a resolution to prohibit telecommunication companies from erecting cell towers within military encampments. Furthermore, plans for modernization efforts involve acquiring radar equipment from Japan to enhance surveillance capabilities in territorial waters and the exclusive economic zone, reflecting a multifaceted approach to strengthening national security amidst emerging cyber challenges. Tensions between Manila and Beijing have escalated following President Ferdinand Marcos's shift towards closer ties with Washington, diverging from the pro-China stance of his predecessor, Rodrigo Duterte. Despite the diplomatic strain, Marcos's administration emphasizes the importance of maintaining economic relations with China with plans to participate in China's third Belt and Road Forum. The incident underscores the ongoing geopolitical complexities and territorial disputes in the South China Sea, reflecting broader regional concerns regarding emerging cyber challenges in the Asia-Pacific region.